Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another cast video for you guys. Um, I made this... I feel like I'm gonna call her ambitious model, but don't. <laughs> I don't know, like sometimes I change out titles if I don't like them, but that's what I'm thinking now and it's the night before the upload that I'm recording this voiceover, so I doubt that I'll change my mind. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like the first 30 seconds of the voiceover is literally me talking about what I'm gonna call the video or me saying that I do not have a name for the video yet <laughs> which seems to be more common I guess I I'm kind of finding it hard to come up with names these days because I feel like she is still well she's a model as the title would suggest <laughs> but I feel like she's still new to the business and she's kind of like an aspiring or rising model but since I've had like an aspiring author and a rising comedian cast I was like <laughs> I need a different adject adjective so I thought ambitious was quite fitting because um, she's gonna turn out to be ambitious so yeah I thought that was a good title let me know if you think it's appropriate <laughs> Wow, can't believe I was literally talking about the title for 1 minute and 30 seconds. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, I kind of, I think I googled something like interesting models or something. I can't really remember. And I found this gorgeous model. Like, I have no idea what she's called or anything. But she was so pretty and I was like, right, I'm going to try to recreate her. Well, not recreate, but I was inspired by her and she had these like beautiful bright blue eyes and... Um, freckles all over her face and body and if you know me you know that I love freckles I'm so jealous of any person that has freckles no matter how many or how little like I just want them <laughs> because I do get like two or three but to be honest they kind of more look like blackheads if you only have one or two you're always like looking at your face and you're like what is that and then you're like oh oh yeah it's a freckle but <laughs> They just kind of look weird if it's only like one or two, you know, so I wish I had freckles. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anyone in my family has freckles. Like, I don't know anyone in my family that has freckles. Tim's- my cousin's raising his hand. You have freckles? Well, yeah, but you don't. And your sisters are almost not- they're not related to me at all. <laughs> because Tim- Tim's uh, siblings have a different dad than him, so I'm not related to them because we're related through our dads, so <laughs> there you go, little family tree, <laughs> life on the show. <laughs> but anyways, I called her Alondra Haywood, and I thought Alondra is like such a nice name, and Liam and I just googled it because like... We're not planning on having kids anytime soon, like, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> but I'm always looking for names. I don't know, is anyone else always on the lookout for baby names? Just because I know that I want a unique name, but it shouldn't be hard to pronounce, if you get me, because I like English names, but since our children are more than likely going to grow up in Germany, and I want to not put them through the suffering of having to sit in class and teachers literally reading out their names in the worst German accent because we both like the name Brie as in like B-R-E-E -E. but I know that every German teacher if they read down the list of people like in first grade or whenever um, she would have I'm um, talking about her as if she's real like <laughs> I'm not gonna have kids yet <laughs> um, but whenever they would read the name that literally go like Brie and that just mm, no I don't want her to be made fun of and always having to be the one that's like oh it's actually called this and this but Alondra is something that I think even in German most people would just pronounce Alondra or something and that's not bad like it sounds kind of cute and unique but not you know it's not something kids can well kids can make fun about anything really can't they it's just a shame like <laughs> kids be nice <laughs> like I feel like any name you can somewhat make fun about even if you just rhyme it with something and it's so silly but anyways we're gonna move into the machinima really quick and I'm really excited about this one because it turned out so cute and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you in tomorrow's video bye Good old times that wouldn't last Sparking shadows up